Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Hey, listen, let me show you something really cool. Uh, we get a new screen, touch screen, and we can actually show the students how to run the refrigeration system. And what I'm gonna show you is something really simple, practical, where you're gonna have a compressor, and then you're also gonna have an evaporator, a uh, TXV valve, a side glass, a filter dryer, a uh, receiver tank, and a condenser. So what I'm gonna do is um, run the, the refrigeration lines, and I'm gonna use uh, different, different colors for each one of those lines, okay? Um, in refrigeration, it, I, I selected different colors. Example, uh, orange is for high pressure, high temperature refrigerant. So we're gonna start doing this, okay? Just follow me. And first of all, let me raise this and let me start. So out of the compressor here, the line comes out and it goes into the condenser. Now the question is, why did I select the color orange into this? Orange for me represents high pressure, high temperature, refrigerant, and the physical state is vapor. Once again, high pressure, high temperature, vapor, refrigerant. That's what I like to use a lot, orange, coming from the compressor all the way to the condenser. Now, from the condenser into the receiver tank, we're not gonna use orange, we're gonna use the color red. So we gotta go up here and select the red color, now, from the condenser, it comes out and it goes into the receiver tank. Why the color is red? Once again, it represents high pressure, medium temperature, liquid refrigerant that is coming out of the condenser. Now, from the receiver tank, it comes out. If you notice here in the receiver tank, it doesn't, it doesn't do any, any uh, physical change. The refrigerant stays as high pressure liquid refrigerant. So out of the receiver, it comes out and then it goes into the filter dryer. On the filter dryer, the refrigerant doesn't change any physical state. It stays as a liquid high pressure. So then it keeps going back into the side glass. The side glass, it just lets you know that the refrigerant, it doesn't have any moisture, and then it, the refrigerant keeps going, and that goes into the TXV. From the TXV, the, the thermal expansion valve, now there's a little bit of change. Now, when the refrigerant passes through the TXV and it goes into the evaporator, the refrigerant from the TXV to the evaporator, it becomes low pressure and liquid. It's gonna be 90% uh, liquid and 10% vapor. And this is where the refrigerant is gonna start boiling. So we, we need to change the color to something like dark blue. So dark blue from the TXB into the evaporator. Remember, the dark blue represents liquid uh, 90% liquid and 10% vapor and it's boiling, low pressure, okay? Now from the evaporator, we need to change the color to light blue. Why? Because now the refrigerant, when it comes out of the evaporator, it goes into the compressor, but now the refrigerant is 100% vapor, uh, medium temperature, 100% vapor, and only vapor, and that's coming to the compressor. So this is a little bit of uh, what these different stages of the refrigerant from the compressor coming out to the condenser, receiver, filter dryer, side glass, TXB, and the evaporator. This is different stages that you can actually get in the refrigeration system. So what I'm gonna do now is put HP or low P, HP means high pressure, 
vapor or gas okay here we go so we're gonna have to raise this section here and we're gonna change the color of the pan to a black one and then let's go ahead and put here HP which is high pressure paper make sense that comes out of the compressor it goes all the way to the condenser now we here is HP now it's high pressure but now is liquid okay all this section here all this is going to be liquid all the way up to here HP L for liquid okay let me raise this off and put the pen HPL liquid okay now over here we're gonna have to on this section here now becomes LP low pressure liquid and then after the evaporator now this one is uh, LP low pressure vapor so I want you guys to take a look at that and once again high pressure vapor high pressure liquid high pressure liquid and low pressure liquid and low pressure vapor now hopefully you guys like this video this is something really quick we got this brand new screen uh, from this company they uh, you know this is uh, like a something to try it out it's pretty cool so hopefully you guys like you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time thank you